What's up, YouTube? I'm sure you guys have heard by now, but Cambodia has just dropped their quarantine requirements. That's right. We'll get to that in a minute, but first we're going to start with the very latest. The very This is very current as of 11.15 for Cambodia. This is coming straight from the usembassy.gov website. According to the Ministry of Health authorities, as of November 15th, 2021, Cambodia has a total of 119,588 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and 2,872 deaths since the onset of the pandemic in early 2020. That's uh, pretty good, but you know how accurate are those numbers. The U.S. Department of State has issued a travel advisory level 4, do not travel to Cambodia due to COVID-19. The CDC has not issued a travel health notice level for Cambodia for COVID-19, indicating an unknown level of COVID-19 in the country. So officially, I don't really know what the heck's going on with the numbers there. Anyway, let's just jump down to the good stuff. The news you've all been waiting for. Cambodia has dropped its quarantine but only for vaccinated travelers. So if you're unvaccinated, you're still required to quarantine for 14 days. But anyway, let's jump right into the article. This is coming straight from Phnom Penh Post. As of, it looks like, I don't know, about 14 hours ago as of recording this video, um, the Prime Minister has announced, Cambodia is lifting all quarantine requirements for vaccinated inbound travelers entering Cambodia by air, waterway, or land border. And I just got an ad pop up. Uh, border checkpoints. This is effective as of today, as of November 15th. Travelers will be required to take a rapid antigen test on arrival rather than waiting for the results of the lengthier PCR test. There's some good news with that. Um, just stay until the end. Prime Minister Hun Sen confirmed the waiver of all quarantine requirements in two separate audio messages addressed to the nation on November 14th. I've been trying to find those audio messages, but, but can't for some reason. Um, it's probably on his Facebook page or something. By the way, I'm not on Facebook anymore. Saying that anyone who has received a second COVID-19 vaccine shot of any sort can now enjoy traveling anywhere they want across the entire kingdom. They're trying to promote tourism, both internal and external. Uh, I mean, this is the best way to do it. I, I think it's a smart move, honestly. Uh, you just need to wait 15 to 20 minutes for the rapid test results, and then you can continue your journey to any place across the entire country with no limitations, however you wish. The Prime Minister based his decision on the fact that some countries that have much lower vaccination rates than Cambodia have already opened their borders to welcome visitors. Fun fact, Mexico has never had any requirements. They probably are the most open uh, country as far as uh, vaccination requirements, um, but they are pretty strict with the masking. Uh, just a little side note. Cambodia is almost fully vaccinated with nearly 88% of the total population of around 16 million covered. That's actually, that's really, that's amazing because earlier this year they were, I don't even think they had vaccines yet. Well, wait, wait none of us had vaccines earlier this year. Never mind. Cambodia is almost fully vaccinated with nearly 88% of the total population of around 16 million. So there is no quarantine requirement any longer except for those who have not been vaccinated who still need to do the 14-day quarantine like before. So if you're not vaccinated, you're still, um, you still have to quarantine. Uh, obviously, you need to provide proof upon entry. Continuing on, this policy will be applied without discrimination to everyone, whether they are Cambodian people who are living or traveling abroad and returning home or foreign tourists or investors. So this is for everybody, not just Cambodians. The order applies to all routes, all waterways, airports, land border crossings with Thailand, Vietnam, and Laos. Before departing for Cambodia, passengers need to be sure to have proof of vaccination and a health certificate indicating that they tested negative for COVID-19 in the 72 hours prior to their flight. So before leaving Cambodia, you still need to take your COVID test. Um, here in my area, it's still free, which is a great thing because usually they're like 50 bucks a pop. Um, I, I don't know what it's like for you guys in other countries. Uh, feel free to let me know down below. With this decision, I hope that Cambodian people who are returning from abroad are not worried about any quarantine requirements any longer. See, so this is almost like a move that he's doing for um, Cambodian citizens. And then, the you know, the side benefit is uh, more international tourists are, are going to be coming in over the next few weeks. 
This is a big step towards reopening the entire country, and I call on all relevant authorities to be ready to implement this new policy from November, from November 15th onwards when the waiver of all quarantine takes effect. So uh, he's just letting everybody know that uh, you're going to get bum-rushed here very soon. Hansen also said that the officials in charge of quarantine to let the people who are currently in quarantine, whether at home, a center, or hotel, to skip the rest of their quarantine period starting November 15th. So if there were people that were uh, currently in quarantine that were traveling as of November 15th, they're out of there. They're out of quarantine. I hope our compatriots enjoy our reopening. It is widely due to the country having achieved such an outstanding rate of vaccination. I want to stress again that to those who have not been vaccinated must quarantine for 14 days, both Cambodians and foreigners. As of November 13th, over 14 million Cambodians aged 5 and up have been vaccinated with their first shot, equal to 87.82% of the total population. Of those, 13.2 million have received their second dose and more than 2 million have received a third or a booster shot. Jesus Christ, they're going ape shit with the vaccines over there. So I want to comment about the uh, the rapid the rapid testing that's required because it sounds like the process is you take the COVID-19 test here before you leave. But on the other end, on a, upon arrival in Cambodia, they're also requiring a, uh, a rapid antigen test uh, taken directly at the airport. That's what it looks like. It's required to take a rapid antigen test on arrival. It doesn't say right at the airport or what, but it sounds like they're requiring this rapid test. But, here's a, a big but, but it's a good but. No payment required for travelers taking rapid COVID-19 tests upon arrival. They just declared that um, on the same day. I think that was a clarification, but there's a whole article on the Phnom Penh Post. It's on the front page. Um, so that's a really, that's a great thing. Now, as far as um, the unvaccinated and all that other good stuff, I believe uh, based on uh, what I've seen so far that everything still applies. Uh, I want to find this chart, which I'll link down below. This is probably going to change by the time you guys watch this. So um, this is for anybody that's watching this right when I uploaded today. Um, this is news as now, as of it is now. So I don't think it's going to change because over there it's it's really late. So I don't think anything's happening at four in the morning over there. These are the old quarantine requirements, and I think they're still in effect for vaccinated or for unvaccinated travelers. Uh, you're going to need to do this, the, the COVID test. You still need to quarantine. You still need to deposit $2,000 in cash uh, to handle any uh, hospi hospitalizations and, uh, and uh, quarantine hotel. Um, and it lists a bunch of hotels that are the official quarantine hotels. As far as unvaccinated like investors, technical staff, and um, family members and Cambodian, um, I, I believe that there's still a quarantine requirement. Um, again, this is probably going to be updated this whole like they have this nice little grid that, that shows you everything, uh, but it hasn't been updated yet. Uh, the latest news is just for vaccinated travelers going to Cambodia. This is a very smart thing for them to do. I thought for sure they would hang on to this quarantine requirement until 2022. Um, I even heard of they were looking at doing a phased approach to reopening Cambodia, but they're probably really hurting for lack of tourism. Some of my family members living over there work in the tourism industry, so they probably are uh, just not doing really good right now. So I am looking at traveling to Cambodia Probably in 2022. I don't have any solid plans yet, but I definitely would like to revisit Cambodia. Uh, maybe go up into uh, the northern territories to uh, try and find some of the hill tribes that are still out there. Maybe go on like some sort of jungle trek. That'd be really cool. Also, I just wanted to announce that I've been filming uh, a kind of like a, um, a daily vlog for the last couple of weeks. Um, which I'm going to be showing over December. I'm going to try and upload something new every day in December. We'll see. I, I don't like making promises anymore because I don't always keep them. But stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's it. Um, hope you guys found this helpful for everyone out there that's been thinking about traveling to Cambodia real soon. Thank you guys. As always, make sure you uh, comment down below and we'll catch you next time. Peace.